for this Friday in light of the recent outbursts of violence and criminal activity. Uh, we're looking to assemble at the corner of Central American Boulevard and Trinity Street at around 5.30 p.m. And from there we want to move up the boulevard onto Cemetery Road into Constitution Park where we'll have a short ceremony which should conclude about by 8 p.m. thereabout. Uh, the result, the reason for this vigil is as a result of the recent outburst of violence, especially July. July was a very bloody month in our city, you know, and it touched me and it touched those around me, and so as a result we decided to, to organize this. The message that we're trying to send is that we want to rescue our community. We want to rescue our future. Many young people have Many young people have been robbed of their future. Are you guys targeting a particular group of people to come out? Could you tell us a little bit about the, the more or less the type of crowd you expect to come out? Yeah, well, I expect a mixed crowd, uh, comprising of both elders and young people. And it's open to the public, so the common man is invited. The man at the highest, in the highest office is also invited. And also, we want to get a mixed crowd. For once in our country's history, for once, as young people, we are trying to push politics aside. We are trying to push everything aside because we're tired of dying. Tonight I could be dead. Tomorrow it could be Andrew. Next day it could be you. Next month it could be Dwayne. So um, this is in no way political. We're just tired of dying. And that is it, point blank. We're tired of losing our futures. We're tired of being robbed of our place in this country.